Hi guys, this is just going to be a video to show you how to make a quick, easy to use, easy to make, uh, good looking video intro like the one you just saw for free using just Windows Live, Movie Maker and uh, three different websites. Um, if you have Windows XP, unfortunately this video is not for you, it's only for people who can download Windows Live Movie Maker, not the normal Movie Maker, which are people who have Vista um, with a new service pack and Windows 7 uh, users. So I'll show you what my one looks like in the Windows Movie Maker program. Uh, it looks quite difficult. It's got two different texts with each have got animations, music, video, and each of, and the video's also got an animation and a, a visual effect. But I mean this took me seven or eight minutes to make and less than a minute to render. So you're looking at you know less than ten minutes to make a pretty decent looking uh, video intro for free. What we'll do, I'll start a new project. If anyone wants me to show them step by step how to make the one they saw at the beginning of this video, I'll be more than happy to uh, do a video on it. But for the time being, we're just going to do a different one just to you know make things a bit different. So the three different sites you need are thefont.com for your free fonts, movie tools for your uh, video loops, and for your free music, you'll need you just type in free sound on uh, Google and it's the second one down called PACDV.com and it's sound effects. Freesound does have music but I like PACDV because it's got the dedicated music here and it's got only got about 20-30 tracks but they're all pretty short and pretty punchy so you can take out maybe 10-12 seconds for your video intro and it, and it sounds you know much better than maybe a 4 minute long ballad kind of thing so Obviously, if you don't want to use the font, you know, I'm just using the font because you can obviously choose completely different fonts from what, you know, you can get on Movie Maker anyway. There are obviously tons of fonts anyway, but this is just something a bit different. So, to start off, go on New Project, download Live Movie Maker first if you don't have it. Click on Title. Um, I'm just going to call mine Nostrona because that's my YouTube name. Control A to highlight it. And then you can obviously, if you want to, just choose a font from here, I mean there's hundreds, if you want something a bit different go under font, click on anything you want, you can click on top um, you know anything like that, so if you click on maybe go back, if you click on old school, uh, no old school is quite good, if you click on college because that looks quite good, right click in the corner here it's only 281 kilobytes so that will download very quickly click on save link as college, I've already downloaded a few here, save you know, download in you know, less than a second. If you've got Chrome, it will come up at the bottom here. If you haven't, you'll have to look in your Downloads tab, I think. Single click it, this button here, and just choose the one that has the font name with .ttf because sometimes it has more than one file here, like a PNG or a preview. It, you know, don't bother about those or the About Me text. Just look at the .ttf. That that'll be your one. So just double click that, press Open. Wait for the font sizes to load. It'll take a while. Um, if you've got Windows 7, it's just this install button here. You have to wait until they've loaded them all, otherwise it will cra not crash your PC but make it really slow. For Windows XP users, I think you need to do something else, but the font has a step-by-step -step guide, so that's okay. So just press install. Installing in college. It's finished. So just exit out of all of that. Exit that. Now go onto your Movie Maker. Now I don't want Sego, I want college, so just type in C O L L and that's college there. And that's what it looks like. So if you make it maybe fifty. If you'd now want to have a video loop like what I had on my video intro you saw at the start, go on movie tools, go on free loops. Now the one I had was from high from high tech loop, sorry. And it was this one here if you wanted to use it but let's do a different one because we'll just show you a different one go on energy loops and it's got loads of them now the point here is I've got a widescreen so I'll need to choose the one with a rectangle if you have a 4-3 uh, screen so one that's not a widescreen you'll need to choose a square you can choose if you've got a square screen you can choose the widescreen one but it won't look as good because it will have black boxes on it and vice versa for if you choose a square when you've got a widescreen you don't know if you, for some reason you can't tell just by looking at the screen that you've got if you've got a widescreen or if you're running at widescreen resolution. Go on my channel um, if you want to, do, obviously. Um, and if you can see this little message here, "Hello widescreeners" and "Nostrunner" down the side, that means you've got a widescreen. If you haven't, 
then it will come up as just this blue bit here. You won't be able to see the widescreen bit. So if we just go on to movie tools, I like the look of say this one. Left click, wait for it to load, press download here, and wait for it to download. They're usually between about 10 and 15 megabytes, um, but it's quite a fast site, so you can see it's uh, downloading quite quickly. And while that's downloading, we'll look at some music. So I think I used Power Juice, but if we go and say the next page, um, basically click on the one you want. hear it and that sounds quite you know upbeat and you, it's, it's a bit of a loop so you can use it for an intro that's like f 10 seconds long for example see the actual uh, underlined bolded thing uh, right click on it press save link as it should come up as an mp3 format sound if it, if it comes up as an HTML link you need to wait a few seconds for it to load save and that because it's in like a minute uh, meg or two it will download straight away if you've got a pretty fast connection so now we've got our two uh, our music and our <coughs> excuse me our music and our video. So go back onto Windows Live Movie Maker. So let's say I wanted to add the if you want to add the video loop. Basically, just go on Home, Add Videos and Photos. Um, that's one I chose. That's the one I have. That's the one I chose. I downloaded. Press Open, and this will come up. Now just move your caption along to your new one. Get rid of the black stuff. You don't want it anymore. And put it, don't put it right at the start because it looks a bit more professional if it takes a few seconds for it to come in. So you can just press play on the preview. Make sure that they can actually see the colour. So perhaps white isn't the best one, maybe red is a bit more obvious. So that's, that looks a bit more obvious. I think the best length for a uh, intro is between something like 5 and 10 seconds. Anything more than people will get a bit bored. So let's put it at 8.5 right click at the point you want it and say set end point so now it's only eight eight and a half seconds long maybe if you just leave that as nosh rusher nosh oh no, sorry blimey. and now we want to add the music um, if you want to add music right at the start add music add music um, I put it under it's under downloads for me dance zone press open and you can see it automatically fits to the length now, if you wanted to start uh, the music at a certain point, like you thought, you know, from 10 seconds onwards was quite good, click on Music Tools here, and say start point, you know, I want it 10 seconds in. So now the music will start 10 seconds into the track. So that's quite a good, uh, you know, a good feature to have. So now you've got basically everything you need but maybe you want to make it a bit more interesting in the background and maybe the video you know just blue is a bit boring so what I did on my one it is a very good uh, feature just go on click on make sure you've got uh, the video highlighted it will have like a slightly blue outline to it go on to visual effects and you've obviously got different blur things you know different colors it's a bit funny the one I had if I go down to the bottom it was this one here that changes the hue so if you just click on it and now go to home, press play, and it looks really cool, doesn't it? It changes, you know, changes, changes colour through these different hues. I think I also slowed mine down, so maybe if you think the video is going a bit too fast, just click on video tools, put the speed at maybe you know 60%, so 0.6 times. If you wanted to still keep it at eight seconds, make sure you get to eight seconds and say set endpoint. And so now you can see a bit slow. Um, if you wanted to add a bit more, you know, maybe you wanted to put the fade on, you make sure you're on music tools, fade in, so maybe it doesn't fade, you know, it doesn't, the music doesn't come on straight away, maybe put the fade in at medium and fade out slow, so it's a bit more, it sounds a bit more professional. And then obviously you can, you know, even change um, animation, so if you wanted, I think I had this one, so it does that. Um, you know, you can have it coming in from a blur, coming in from black, you know, anything really. So, um, I personally would probably have the, uh, you know, the flick, flip thing, but black's also kind of cool, so it comes in from a black. So you press play. That's pretty good. Now, if you want to save it, you can obviously just save the project, and that just saves the actual product itself. Call it as, you know, uh, intro for YouTube. 
and that saves it but if you want to save it so you can put it up onto YouTube you can't put that save directly onto YouTube it won't actually work you need to press save movie here I've got some custom settings already I've put I put it at full HD which is a six sometimes if you, if you highlight it it looks going at six megabits per second which is about right because I think YouTube puts their full HD videos at about four or five so it's just above just in case left click on that call it intro for YouTube actual video because I'll get it mixed up with my my YouTube uh, intro press save make sure it's on high performance and it takes you know 10 20 seconds to load uh, to uh, do it um, I'll show you mine I've got it's using all you can't really see it or you can look you can see I've got eight cores it's using all eight cores or how many cores your uh, CPU actually has so it does use everything so it's very good in that respect it's not really slow and not it's multi threaded basically so now you just open folder press play so yeah rate and subscribe if you want me to do another different uh, intro or you know anything like that then I'll be happy to help